Hey guys, here for another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool app that I've been using lately for my news, um, and it's called Smart News. Um, the reason that I'm trying new um, news apps is because I don't like the update, the latest update for the uh, Flipboard app, which is one of my favorite apps of all times uh, when it comes to news browsing. Uh, but I've been looking for uh, some alternatives, and one of the my favorite ones that I found was a uh, Smart News. Uh, this been in the App Store for a long time already. I can't exactly say when, but uh, let me show you guys how it works. Uh, so first of all, when you open it up, you can see the top news right here. Like you see there, you can see the top news, uh, and you scroll down all the way down to the la latest top news um, over here you got tabs like you see here you got tabs of all different categories and different sources um, you can actually add more sources if you want you click right there uh, you got your channel settings right here and from here if you want to eliminate some sources you could just go ahead and uncheck some of them and like you see there now world is not going to be available there uh, I could go ahead for example and eliminate some more if you want like buzz I could go ahead and eliminate that and that's it so that's how you eliminate um, tabs if you want to add some new tab you could go ahead and for example add a uh, USA Today which was recently added like see there I could go ahead that add that and if I want to add another one like bleacher report I could go ahead and add that as well and that's it and that's it you got categories here one of the negative things about this app and I already I already emailed the the developer of this app letting him know that he should add a game category you know uh, it has news technology sports it should have a gaming category that's the only negative and that right now that's the only reason why I keep going back to Flipboard because I, I like going to the gaming section um, you got delivery settings which is very cool uh, you could change this to whatever time you want um, like top news delivered to you as a notification for example you could put 630 you could put at 1230 here right now it's 10 there but you could go ahead here at you know not not that late <laughs> like 11 p.m. and you could go ahead here enable ver, uh, enable notification enable no vibration whatever like that very cool and um, of course you could select here U United States or Japan background vet fetch uh, Wi-Fi only or always enabled and you could control here a lot more things like large fonts, orientation. Uh, you can add your Twitter, your Facebook, and your Evernote account. And that's it. That's practically it. Now, since we added new categories, like you see here now, is um, um, it's refreshing. Over here, you see the new category we added, which is over here is uh, uh, USA Today. That's the new category we added. And we added uh, Bleacher Report. Now, one of the cool things that I like about this app is that when you find the news that you want to read, like for example, let's say I want to read this news right here, you got this option right here, and you got this option right here, which is the smart uh, reading option. And what I like about the smart reading option is that when you open it up, it looks very, very clean. It takes your news and it makes it look very, very clean with no links, no banners, no ads, anything, anything you could think of. It looks very clean. Over here in web, it just takes you to the web version of this site, you know, and it, it shows you the news in the website. Like, and like you see there, you get ads, you get links, uh, you get um, banners that you don't want to see. You get a lot of things here that you don't want to see, you know, because it's not that clean. Smart news makes the news look a lot more cleaner. If there's a photo that needs to be there, it shows it there and it shows the links that is necessary and everything else. It just makes it look very, very clean. And that's something that I really, really like about this app. Uh, let's go ahead right here. Let's go right there. Like see here very very clean um, and it reminds me a lot when you use those apps like for example pocket and instapaper that when you save um, some news that you want to read later on it shows the news like in a very very clean way to read and this is what it does it, it, it makes the news look very clean without all the unnecessary things to see and look at that very cool very nice and, and it has very nice effects as well like you see there you see that cube effect right there it looks very cool when you go in through categories 
it looks very nice like a nice page turning effect so very very cool and the greatest thing of course is that this app is totally free and you know it looks very clean no ads going around whatsoever let's go ahead and add that right there so you guys can see it right there recode right there and that's it but like i said the only negative thing is that there is no gaming section there should be a gaming section there's so many gaming sources out there and you know it's a shame that there's no gaming section here other than that i gotta say a very very cool app you must try it if you're looking for an alternative to flipboard uh you must try this app it's very very nice very clean it looks beautiful and i like the way you know you go through the news and everything so thanks for watching the video guys till next time this was smart news for android devices